Hello everyone and welcome to No Excuses Ladies episode number 31. I am Eva Eckerd and I am your host. No Excuses Ladies weekly show is for all of you out there who have, for all of you ladies out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses and finding yourself being unhappy and successful in life. This weekly show can give you all the different examples on how to apply the no excuses mindset in all areas of your life with the foundation of health and wellness so you can succeed in life, move the needle forward with the necessary tips provided. No Excuses Tribe is welcoming all of the badass ladies out there and those of you who would like to become a badass in real life. I'm here to support you, guide you, and lead you to your full potential. You can discover here the power of self-belief, self-motivation, and self-discipline so you can stop making the excuses and create the life you truly desire by being the best version of you. So this is what this show is all about. So many of you have joined me for 30 episodes and I'm super thankful for this because today's episode number 31, I, as always, I am telling you to contact me and get a 15 minutes free coaching call. I see you guys joining in. Pam, thank you so much for being here. I'm here on Facebook and on Instagram, very casual setting as you see me actually sitting down today. I normally stand up, but today is sitting down. And uh, thank you again for joining me. So today I, I want to talk to you about a leadership by action. So the past three weeks, you have not seen me here. We have been traveling in Europe. I went to my homeland, which is Poland, for those of you that do not my, know my story. And uh, this trip created so many topics for me. And, you know, the whole point is that um, a life brings us these life lessons, right? And it's good to look into this, uh, like really uh, divided by into sections and really think of it, what are these, these lessons? Because everything is a lesson. So every single one of us have different, uh, different lifestyle, right? And different things that are happening to us. But what happened to me uh, during the trip, there was a lot of going on, and today I really want to share with you with you and why I thought about the leadership by action because I talk about leadership here on this stage. I, I give you ideas on how to live a happier and healthier life. Uh, well, I do coaching, right? You see me doing different exercises, and and that's the whole point of today's episode. So uh, when I went to Poland, I met with my sisters. And um, if if you don't know the story, uh, one of the sisters I met 10 years ago and the other one joined us two years ago, but that's for a separate episode. So my oldest sister, her name is Anya, uh, she has two kids, right? And the oldest is 18 years old. And uh, so, so what happened is, about two years ago, uh, when I went, it was before COVID, we haven't seen each other for the past two years, because as you know, the travel has been so restricted. And that was for about a year, there was no direct flights from here to Poland. There were some f uh, flights going on, but I could not get there because of these restrictions. So finally, we had a chance to meet. Uh, so uh, the story goes uh, 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 like this, that uh, two years ago we were working out together and my nephew, who was back there, eight, 15 years old, he started being uh, really interested in working out. So I took him to the gym, we did some workouts at home. And during, unfortunately, pandemic, as we know, happened to a lot of people and happened to him. Because of the full lockdown in Poland, they were not uh, allowed even to go to the parks. They literally, the kids had to stay at home. There was no interruption. It was pretty bad. So what happened to him, he couldn't really join any gym. He couldn't meet any friends. He was so restricted. And the need for working out, staying healthy, being active, fit, just was put on a second, secondary, second plan. But why, why I picked the leadership by action? Because all of us at some point in life are leaders. Like think about it. Like as the light goes in different situations of our lives, 
we are leaders. And that's what I wanted to point this out for, for you, that we all have a leading in certain topics in certain areas of our life. So you stock up your talents, you do the things that you do the best, and then you lead others, right? Do you agree? Yes. I mean, we all have different uh, uh, different jobs, right? So I'm sure that you are a leader at some point. You're doing something to lead others. But what is really that you do especially well? I want you to guys to put it in the comments. And if you watch this video later, maybe you watch on my YouTube channel, give some um, some answers because I would love to hear from you. What are you good at? Then what do you do easily that it's difficult for others to do? What is that you do that get the most compliments from other people? Because people will recognize you for certain things. Like we've been coaching for so many years and we've delivered the results to so many people and that's how we know what we're good at right i discovered this uh, many many years ago but through the love the pure love for what i do i really created myself that's what it is i really submerged in the topic of fitness and nutrition and coaching and life coaching and that's what i absolutely love to do and love the best but those questions are for you guys because so many of you still don't know, still think that, okay, because you are not the top maybe uh, a person in your company, that you're not the leader, but all of us lead. And it, it doesn't matter what position you have. You are a leader. You are a leader at some point. So I want to point this out for you. Thank you guys for joining that. This is very important. And by really recognizing those different things and answering to these questions, it might be maybe something that you're going to come across. I go, wow, I never realized this. And this is a good point. So make sure that you're answering those. And uh, as, I, as I mentioned to you, for me, uh, being a coach, a guide, a mentor, I do it with a full open heart and I do it well. And I really put a good thought into it, as you can see in our workouts and other things. But that's really besides the point. Right. What really is does does taking action in leadership look like? Like think about it. At the end of the day, only action produces results. Right. So building relationship, developing others, and making decisions lead uh, to more effective actions. Uh, but it is the actions of you and or maybe your team, along with the outcomes they produce. Right, that will build your reputation as a great leader. That's what it's all about. So I want you to think about it because the story will reveal itself and you're gonna have like a full picture of what happened. So yes, yeah, so my nephew has been out of the really fitness uh, workout, really it's been put in a dark place as many. And I know that happened to many kids and that's what I've seen in Europe and in Poland was really striking that there was so many overweight people, so many young kids, little young kids, eight, 10 years old, overweight from inactivity, from being on the lockdown. So now we need to use our forces and do as much as we can to help people. So kids and adults can move, lose the weight, live a happier life. That comes with knowledge, right? We need to spread the knowledge and share with each other. And that's what leadership is all about because that stay with me because this story will reveal itself. So uh, when you speak up, uh, you step up and stand up for something or someone that matters to you, right? That you are committed to. That's what we're doing. We're committed to something. We want to help you guys in, 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 in your workouts, in your lifestyle. It's all about making a difference and for me and for us, because the kids travel with me, was to train every single day, was to encourage everyone around us to work out with us and everyone around us to eat healthy. I'm not saying that we didn't have this awesome natural homemade ice cream in Poland. No, of course. But our idea was to carry the lifestyle that we truly believe and we live every single day that was the whole idea 
So my ultimate goal was to get my nephew to start working out again, right? And, excuse me, miss, I'm doing a live show. Oh, well, you can stay, you can stay, but, <laughs> but it cannot be a second phone going on. You see, that's the big freak uh, house. You know, this is all going on. Even though I locked the door, somehow somebody get it, gets it. Um, so my goal was to get my nephew to work out. But, you know, how do you do that with someone that, uh, that the, the, the stamina, the conditioning is so weak. When you get to a place, when you gain weight, when you feel weak, when your stamina is not there, you kind of try to get into a shell, right? And not to come out. You don't want to show your true colors. You don't want to show uh, yourself struggling because it's uncomfortable. It's just, it puts you in a position of a failure. We don't like that. Human beings don't like this. We, we don't like to feel like this. So imagine this 18 year old that used to work out and I see him huffing and puffing, playing with my son, uh, soccer. And that was the first situation when he was playing soccer, he lay down on the couch and couldn't move. So wait to what happened next. So we start working out, right? We get, my, my sisters were there, my other sister from uh, Germany was there, there are other people. So it's six of us. It's me and Tyson. Ivanka is a little on the side. She follows our workouts, but then she does something else. And there is a total of six people. So we do this interval training. We lift some weights, there is a little bit of cardio, and there is run up, not a big hill, but a little bit, a little bit, tiny hill. Um, it's not a long run, but we're trying to do a sprint just to get out of our comfort zone. So the workout takes about a place for 60 minutes. Out of six people, only two are left, okay? So this shows you how a, a conditioning of people is, is hard, but also obviously the workout wasn't easy, but people were trying. People were trying to do this and stay on board, but slowly but surely people start, start kind of stopping and taking longer breaks. So me and Tyson are left, and my nephew is the last one really to leave, right? It's almost at the end of the workout. He is done, a few minutes are left, and he, he really cannot go anymore. So what I did not know is after what happened exactly with this workout, because he revealed this to my sister, which was his mom, that during this workout and the fact that he was playing soccer with them, he had like a breakthrough. The breakthrough came from being so out of breath, being so deconditioned that he said, I cannot let a 10 year old being in a better condition than I, and I am an 18 year old, that was his breakthrough. He says, I cannot allow this. Like what happened to me? What happened to my conditioning? I used to play soccer, I used to be active. Like it hit him like a, like a lightning from the sky that, but look how much, the, the whole process took about a week, guys. So look how, uh, how long it takes to, to break someone for the person to understand that he needs to get himself out of the unhealthy habits and just simply starts moving because he's better thin. It's not about a weight loss with him. It's about really moving and having a better mindset. So simply after that session and him saying, I cannot have this, what does he do? He, t he steps up and he buys protein shakes, eats healthier, and joins us for every single workout. Because it wasn't easy for me to have him to join our workout. It was a little struggle in the beginning. And the reason for it is because he knew it that it's gonna be very difficult for him. He was like, oh my God, my aunt is coming from America. 
she wants to work out because I know how she is and she will probably drag my ass. And that's what happened. But that's what I'm saying. All of you, all of you have some kind of a leadership skills. All of you have something that you can lead others by. Not necessarily this has to be the workout and healthy food, but there is something else maybe a mindset, maybe something else. All of us have those little leadership patterns and topics that we can help others. So today I want you to really think of it. That this story has multiple lessons. And I would love to hear from you. What did you get? Uh, what kind of lesson out of the story you got? Not just the, you know, the simple breakthrough. That the 10 year old, because it really wasn't because necessarily of me, but he compared himself to a 10 year old who had no excuses during the pandemic to not to work out. We've been working out all the time. We didn't let the pandemic to slow us down. We actually scale, pivot our business, changed everything because of the strong leadership mindset that nothing can change our lifestyle and we're gonna not allow outside circumstances control and dictate our lives. And there are certain things that you control. Simply, what is what is it? It's really how you eat and if you exercise or not. And really your mental attitude, how, what are you gonna do with this? Like so many people and so many people have been struggling with this. So the lesson is that the 10 year old Thank you guys for joining. I see some friends over here that the 10 year old can be an influencer. Me besides the point, but him. Join people who try to have the best interest for you, even if you do not feel like, because he didn't feel like to do that, yet he joined me, yet he did it. Do not avoid hard situations because hard situations will bring you breakthrough have an open and uh, mind and, and be really receptive to change because that's what it's all about. If he did not do that, I don't think that he will have that breakthrough and what would happen is that's what I was, afraid, I was afraid of, that he would not come out with this change and this change was so significant that when I left Poland, my nephew was on a path of working out. I kind of gave him an idea, contact the kids that work out, set up a meeting, got to the point that his neighbor saw us working out and let, 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 think this, we had a pair of dumbbells, we had to search for bricks, huge bricks. We have to. We, we took a log out of the wood so it would serve us as some kind of a resistance and we were working out with what we had to set up six people in a session, six people in a workout and all of us had an amazing session. And the neighbor saw us working out and he's like, hey guys, do you need some dumbbells? Do you need some barbells? I'm like, hell yeah. So he brought us a bar, he brought us plates. So look, by just putting it out there, doing it, it can change your life. And what else is very important is to really do self analysis and I think, and tune into your body, like really thinking like, okay, Compare yourself how you are now, how you used to be. Do things have been significantly uh, changing into a worse situation or you are in a better place? Like, where are you now? Like, be so honest. Look in the mirror and say, you know what? I gained freaking 30, 40 pounds. Like some people have been looking in the mirror and trying to cover up the truth. But the truth is standing in front of you. It's, it's not to be, um, uh, you know, hating yourself for what happened. It's to be honest. Because when you're honest and you understand that you fuck up things and you not do good things, that's the, when the change will come. If you don't, you're just going to be looping and covering with the whole mess that you've done and you will never get out of it. It's like peeling the onion peel after peel after peel to the core. And that's what you need to do. Because health 
is the foundation of everything, guys. And as I always tell you, health is the foundation. It's like, what's the point of, of building empire, being successful, if you are deconditioned, unhealthy, unhappy, and you're still covering up with some bullshit, that this is not the food, that this is genetics. Genetics play some role, but not everything. It's the food that we consume. It's the, we are consumers, not only of food, but social media. We consume, consume, consume. So we gotta kind of pause it and stop and ask ourselves the question like, what do I need to do to change the situation? And I love the honesty of my nephew. I just love it when he says, I cannot let the 10 year old smoke me. I cannot let him. And what else, what other lesson? Like, give me some points here. I believe that we cannot let the ego drive us. If you have your ego so big that it's coming out of you and it's over your head, you will not make no changes because the ego does not like to be vulnerable. The ego uh, hates failure. The ego has to be perfect in every freaking situation and will, will not get you to your breakthrough. It will not change anything. So uh, the, the whole idea is to get the breakthrough for growth of your new temple of knowledge. That's what I would say. The temple of knowledge coming into you when you when you enter this breakthrough. So, what are the what are the lessons? Let me know. What do you think uh, would be the lesson for you? Uh, what if you would put your situations in my nephew's shoes and how? Uh, wh what would you do? And again, it's so um, personal and the way how it happened. And the other thing is that. Sometimes um, things that we loved and we enjoyed because of the outside circumstances, because of the things that have happened to us, it, it, maybe like covered the things with a dust, I would say. Like you forgotten how it was. You, uh, you, you let it step away from you. But deep inside you have it and you're carrying it. And once you start doing it, you already feel better. And that's what happened to him. So um, I recognize and I think this trip as it was successful, extremely successful, because in my head was like, I knew that he wasn't working out. And by us going there and him joining us, it was such a victory. Uh, to, to get somebody from that funk to the point that he's going to be doing this stuff. So amazing, amazing story, I think. And I have some questions for you guys. Uh, what leadership actions have you taken recently? And also what kind of breakthrough have you had caused by maybe someone else's leadership? And what are the lessons from this episode? Again, so... Again, guys, text me if you have any questions or maybe you, you want me to talk about some other things or you have some struggles and you don't know how to come out, out of it and what we can discuss and talk here. I would love to hear from you. You can also join me on my YouTube channel. Uh, all the information will be posted on the Instagram. And again, send me a message. I will be more than happy to speak to you. Get your free coaching call for 15 minutes. I always do that for you guys. We can get you on the phone and, and set you up for your success. I will talk to you later. See you next week for the No Excuses Ladies next episode. Bye.